This week we got Chicken Wings, Colton, Julius, MCP, Events, and Austin. It's going to be one heck of an episode. Make sure you ring the bell and subscribe because after 150, man, we're gonna do a big old giveaway that maybe Janine will win. And hey man, uh, you know how much this costs? Hey man, do you see the cameras are on? So, uh, Take it to the front. Like forty dollars. Take it. To it's more than you can afford. Seriously, come on. No what are you doing to, up here? No need to be rude. I do apologize about that. He used to work here. Tuesday, we have the Comic Lottery, man. It's a free event. You can either watch it here uh, live in store or on Facebook at 5.30. This is how you comic book people will spend your loyalty points. Friday, May 13th, we got the Adventure Stadium 2021 Panini Prism and Mosaic NFL Break. We're going to go upstairs find out all about it. It canceled! Hey, man, we have a Magic the Gathering game day draft, and here's Hayden to tell you all about it. Oh, so Friday, May 13th, we have a New Capenna game day draft going on. Uh, if you're not familiar with the new set, it's themed all around the Roaring Twenties in the Magic Universe. Because this is a game day, we're going to have some exclusive promos for everybody who enters. $15 draft to come out and play. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's a lot of really cool stuff that you can pull out of this set uh, that'll give you maximum value for all sorts of different formats. We'll see you guys there. Hey, man, you ain't hate man. Get the hell out of the store. Get out of the store. Saturday, May 14th. We got the Adventure Begins Creator Expo. Once again, Julius. All right, this is Mr. Monday, and we got the Creator Expo coming once again. Creator Expo, that will be May 14th. It is a Saturday, and we have a special guest. We have John Swayze that'll be here. Now, if you know, you're not familiar with who John Swayze is, we're talking Black Butler, uh, DBS, My Hero Academia, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. He did the voices in all those. So uh, please be here. Um, he'll be giving away uh, signed autographs. Um, he'll have banners. We'll have artists here. Uh, so you, can, you guys can get some custom made prints, get them signed. Uh, it is a completely uh, free event to show up. He will be charging $30 for his autographs. Uh, you might be able to grab you uh, um, maybe a selfie or something too. Um, but it will be exciting definitely so um get up here uh, you'll have your chance to uh speak with john swayze uh get a sign off on some of your favorite characters and it'll definitely be an exciting event we have a board game design meetup that's what man this is austin's thing we got the board game we got the bow bow we got the bow bow we got the bow bow board game design meetup group this 14th May 14th, Saturday. We design games and we play test. We'd love to see you there. Also on May 14th, man, we got a booth at Bender's Landing. That's the Regal Theater. We'll be setting up and giving away stuff around six o'clock, man. It's totally free to come hang out at the booth. But you know, if you want to watch a movie, well, you gotta pay for that. Sunday, May 15th, we got the Adventure Stadium Sports Card Trade Night. Guess what, man? There's Bumble and Brandon to tell you all about it. Hey guys, this is Brandon with the Adventure Stadium. We're going to be having a trade night coming up on May 15th from 2 to 6 p.m. Really hope you come out here and trade some cards. I'm looking for my Texans. Just saying. Come on, some Davis Mills fans. This Sunday is the Adventurers League, but it's for the little kids, man. It's the juniors. You got to sign up online. $5 per seat, and it starts at 4 p.m. Again, sign up online. If you can't do it, man, it means we're full. Hey man, we got the Smash Brothers casual play uh, thing going on. It's $5 entry fee. You gotta bring your own system. 6 p.m. Plus there's an Amiibo tournament. That's $5 buy-in, I believe. Monday, May 16th, man. Uh, it's time to drop off your monthly miniature paint sculptures and things for the contest. You have a whole week to drop them off. And then the voting happens on Saturday. And good luck to everybody who drops off. Upcoming events, May 20th, Digimon New Awakenings pre-release tournament. May 21st, Pokemon Unsanctioned pre-release tournament. And May 28th, MCP Demo Day. 
with special bundle prices. Man, those are your events for this week. And, uh, psh. Hey, man, it's time to fill your stash and hear the top books I recommend picking up this week before anyone else does. So forget to check, uh, check out Facebook for my FOC list every week. It drops between Friday and Sunday. So depends on how busy and or lazy I am. So remember, gang, we open at 11. Book number one, Batman, Urban Legends, number 15. Cover C, this one right here, man. If you're a big Plastic Man fan, obviously you want to pick up this book. I'm picking one up. You should, too. Death Dealer, number one, cover B. Uh, it's a heavy metal magazine homage. It looks really dope. Um, and as you can see, man, the art works really cool. Eight Billion Genies, number one. It's an interesting read, man. You got eight billion people get their own genie and one wish all at the same time. So I think it's a five-part series on how all those wishes, I don't know. It's just craziness. It's what it is. Future State Gotham, number 13. Batman is in hell. Damien goes to hell to get Batman. A new character emerges. It's a possible key. Grim, number one. Discover the world of the afterlife with a new Reaper Jessica. This is a pretty popular book. I've been getting a lot of messages about it. Jurassic League, number one. This is the first appearance of uh, prehistoric versions of the Justice League characters. Plus, the Joker version is really dope. Last Bot Standing, Transformers, number one. This is going to be like the uh, Team and T last, uh, last Ronin. So it's kind of the same. Same thing, man. We get a lot of uh, requests and comments and holds for this book as well. Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood. First appearance of a new character, so it could be a possible key. It's a, a character that happens way, way in the future. And it's in space. So who knows, man. Shang-Chi, number 12. Will he make the right choice between good and evil? If you've been reading, well, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, uh, try not to spoil too much stuff on here. What if Miles... Morales, number three. It's the Incredible Hulk, Miles. And there's a death in this book. Spoilers. <laughs> and the top book I recommend picking up this week is Banner War, Hulk vs. Thor, number one. The story is pretty amazeballs, man. I'm not a really big Hulk or Thor fan, but I read this book, and it's actually really, really good. Plus, this book affects quite a few keys from the past. So uh, you kind of see how those are all interwoven together. Anyway, man, anyway, those are the books you should fill your stash with this week, man, and we'll see you soon. Created by David Cockrum and Chris Claremont, Mystique, a.k.a. Raven Darkholm, made her comic book debut in Miss Marvel number 16 back in 1978, but only as a cameo. Mm. Her very first appearance <laughs> wasn't until Miss Marvel number 18 the same year. She is classified as a human mutant, and has a long list of team affiliations, such as X-Men, of course, uh, Brotherhood of Mutants, she Marauders, around. <laughs> yeah, X-Factor, Hellfire Club, S.H.I.E.L.D., and that's just to name a handful. Her abilities include shape-shifting, enhanced strength, speed, agility, stamina, and reflexes, among it's, others. It's amazing how many groups you can be part of when you're a shape-shifter. <laughs> that's right. Uh, she's skilled in multiple forms of martial arts. And she's a marksman or a markswoman and has the power of regeneration. So she has a healing factor. Interesting. Very slow, though. Mm -hmm. uh, fun facts. She was originally intended to be Nightcrawler's biological mother. Ooh. But due to the comic code, that idea was scrapped. That so that's cool. why they look so similar. That would be cool. Right? Uh, she did, however, become uh, the adopted mother of Rogue during the Messiah Complex storyline. And a copy of Mystique's mind... Uh, exists within Rogue because it's something that happened within that storyline. Okay. Uh, her exact age is unknown, mainly due to her slow aging ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, you can find Mystique in a handful of video games, the X-Men uh, 90s animated series and Evolution series, as well as on the silver screen played by Jennifer Lawrence. And my favorite, Rebecca Romaine. Yeah. Good disgracious. Yes. I'm, she's almost like the Michelle Pfeiffer, you know? Of the DC world, it's Rebecca. Yes. I like that. I like that shape shifting effect they did for that movie, and yeah. it kind of looks like little. Now, I just liked it when she kept in blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, man, so that's the character we're talking about today. How is she in the game? Mystique in the game. 
MCP Mount Crest Protocol. <laughs> she is a five health character. She is a three threat. So, you know, it's pretty standard three threat stuff. Her defense is three, three, three. Three physical, three energy, and three mystic. No change on her energy side. So you're going, man, pretty boring, right? No. <laughs> she can also be the leader of the Brotherhood of Mutants, mm -hmm. which is awesome. The only other person that could do that is Magneto. And we know how bad he is. Right, He's Chaz? so horrible. He's terrible. Magneto. I'm being sarcastic. Chaz is not. Yeah. So we got her attacks, which is her builder, which is a pistol shot. Range three, uh, four dice. You're on a weak, right? Zero power. Um, after uh, the attack is resolved, uh, she gains one power. So you're not dependent on doing damage to get power. You're always going to at least get that one power, which can be really handy, right, when you're needing one power. <laughs> uh, on the hit roll, you get the rapid fire. So it lets you make an additional pistol attack on the original target, as long as you roll a hit roll, mm -hmm. which is pretty nice. It's not bad. No, you see no. that with, like, uh, Deadpool and Domino somehow. So that's kind of how you take that four dice attack mm -hmm. and kind of make it into something a little bit more because four dice is a little on the wimpy side as far as getting damage through. Yep. But now you're looking at four dice twice, you're going to get some damage through. Oh, sure. Pretty, pretty, you know, MCP dice being what they are. Then we got the Spender, uh, Espionage, also physical, uh, range two, so you got to be closer, strength six, and uh, three power. This is kind of cool. Because the timing of this is really nice. Before damage is dealt, the target character gains stun. Mm -hmm. As you know, the way the timing works, if you normally you gain stun after damage is dealt, so you're at least able to get the power off that damage you took. But this one, the stun goes in before oh. the damage is dealt, so you only get one power off of that damage that came through. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sneaky. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty espionage, right? <laughs> okay. Her leadership for the Brotherhood of Mutants... Uh, once per turn, after the ally character interacts with an extract of deck token, after all other effects are, are resolved, the ally character gains one power. So you're getting more power. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. The Brotherhood of Mutants are crazy with power anyway. But even when you run Leadership or Mystique, you've got lots of power. Um, additionally, ally characters may use the following interact ability... Interact with secure objective tokens. Place a token on this objective token... While this token is in play, you are securing the objective. Remove the token. If an enemy character contests this objective token, you may only have one token in play at a time as a result of the leadership ability. So, I love that. That's yeah. one of the reasons why I have her as my leader. So, as you know, well, as you know, there's uh, uh, some some secure tokens, or you have to secure them. You have to stay on them. Mm -hmm. Some of them are controlled. So once you take it, it stays under your control, and you can move away. Mm -hmm. So for those ones that you have to stay in secure. You can leave this token behind and walk off and yeah. go do other things. That's really handy. That's really handy. Mm -hmm. So stuff like Demon Downtown, things like that, you can you can secure that back objective and send that character up forward to press in the melee, you know. It's pretty, okay. pretty cool. Her superpowers are Oh my. <laughs> Expert sabotage. It is a three power. Choose an interactive terrain feature of size 3 or less within range 4 of her. Enemy characters that are within one of the terrain feature suffer 2 damage. And then the terrain piece is blown up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Not something I see you're going to be doing all the time, but still a little... It's one of those things that's like, aha, uh -huh, you're going to hide behind that building or that car? I'm going to blow it up and your, all your people are going to take a little, <laughs> little ping damage. Yeah. Yeah. Then her NX superpower, Martial Artist. When defending against physical energy attack targeting from within two, this character adds blanks to the defense roll. So very nice. Uh, the other NX superpower she has is Shapeshifter. During this character's activation, enemy characters cannot use reactive superpowers or reactive team taxes cards. Mm -hmm. She takes a big old dump in your plans if you're <laughs> trying to do That's reactive great. stuff. So Hawkeye, with his little quick shot, Get out of here. Yep. Uh, who, who, Venom with his little snacks thing. No, get out of here, Venom. No, no, no. It's awesome. Yeah, no, that's great. So she can set some stuff down. Um, and then she also has the last NA superpower, which is stealth. She's sneaky. You got to be within three to target her with attacks. Um, she does have a very important team taxes card that goes with her. Uh, Mystique can play this card. Only Mystique. 
uh, choose an enemy character within range four of her. If there's no other non dazed enemy characters within two of that target, she can make them advance their speed. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, this is pretty dope. I never have it in my art school, but it's always a pretty cool card. Yes. Hey, you're standing on that secure objective? Come on. No, you're not. Yeah. Or, um, hey, why don't you come over here so me and my friend Thanos and Corvus Glaive can whoop up on you? <laughs> yeah, come on over here. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, this is a pretty dope card. So, yeah, that's Mystique. She's awesome. I'm going to be running her my Cabal list because she's part of Cabal and she's part of Brotherhood of Mutants, obviously, since she's a leader. She's a great card, great character, cool model. Yeah. She is pretty dope, man. You can find Jason playing this uh, Mystique, or perhaps myself, on May 28th when um, uh, Jason's going to host the demo day. Demo day starting at noon, right, going until 5 or so, whenever. We're going to have uh, special bundle deals for that day only. So um, come hang out with us, man. Play some more of a crisis protocol. Or, you know, or bust. That's right. I don't know how uh, this segment came about, but uh, apparently this is a thing now. And uh, people keep sending, they send me more hot sauce now than any of the nerdy stuff. You know, like for the zoinks and all that jazz. So um, we had some cats who sent me some trappies, red devil cayenne pepper sauce. Have you guys ever had this? No, no, never had it. Right on. Born in Louisiana, it says made with the finest of cayenne peppers uh, since... 1898. Back Yeah. Uh, you know, a new look, same great taste. So again, trappies. That's with a, an E-Y apostrophe S. Trappies. I feel like I'm getting trapped in something. Uh, first off, man, <laughs> the wings are brought to you by Tapped. Um, draft House and Kitchen. They're our neighbors next door. I'll tell you what, these are just some of the best wings. I'm not saying that because they're supplying them. But they are juicy, they're great, they're baked, they're delicious. And I will drive 25 minutes from my house to um, tap to get these. Yeah, I get them I get them almost every day for lunch. Right? I think all the stadium people do as well. Yeah. They also have a whole bunch of different uh, seasonings they can put on it. I love their buffalo ones and their garlic parmesan. Hey, man, we're doing a hot sauce thing, not a little girl stuff. Yeah, we got this. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you guys want to yeah. load it up first? The first yeah. load it up. All right. Now, don't get shy on it either. Uh, uh, usually, uh, anything that says devil, demon, uh, <laughs> anything like that uh, should be uh, tasted with caution. But uh, So, I hope they don't disappoint. Apparently, this is the first time Brandon's, Brandon's ever, ever put hot sauce on anything. I dip. You know? I'm a dipper. I'm a dipper. Yeah, that costs extra, I think. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, Louisiana, trappies, devil sauce, or just red devil. Yeah, red devil cayenne pepper. You guys ready? Yeah, cool. Let's go in, man. All right. Oh, those wings are good. Those are yeah. Good. Mm. Yeah, you know, I'm not a really big spice guy, but can you do that now? Yeah, thank you. That was a vinegar base for sure. I'm getting a lot of vinegar. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it has it has a mild kick. I'm not gonna say it's uh, it's it's like it's not a scorpion pepper or ghost pepper for sure. Mm -hmm. This a, would be a good one to start somebody on, I think. Actually, yeah. I'm getting a little bit of the cayenne. Very vinegary. Um, it almost seems like that vinegar is just, if there's anything else in there, it's just going to kick it to yeah. this side. Um, not for nothing, Trappies. I mean, it's okay. Actually, I don't, I don't think I'm... If there was no other hot sauce around, uh, I, would, I would grab onto it. It's not gross. It's, it's not, not gross at all. It's, it's got a little bit of kick. Huh? I don't know. No. I will say that too. It depends on the type of wing. So, you know, maybe with the uh, naked wing, mm -hmm. you know, um, the flavors don't. I mean, because it's not, it's not. Yeah, because I'd hate for it to taste like chicken hot sauce by itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it was like completely tossed in it. Maybe it would add a little bit more kick to it than just a couple drops here and there. Oh, just to me, I'm just getting vinegar. But uh, like I said, man, like, um, 
you know, if it's on the table, I'd probably put it on some eggs and burritos and stuff. But I've never tried hot sauce and eggs. Oh, really? No. No, Bro. not either. No. No. Well, I'm Louisiana coon ass, so we put hot sauce <laughs> on everything. No. <laughs> but cool, man. Yeah, dude. Uh, if you like it mild and you like a very vinegar taste, uh, in my opinion, hit some trappies, man. Hit some trappies. What do you think? Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. To me. Yeah. Uh, Would you buy it? Would you put put it in your arsenal of hot sauces? Uh, maybe for the wife because she she's not big on the <laughs> on the spice stuff. So if she wanted a little kick, you know. But uh, me, I like I like to get hit right in the mouth. So. Well, for me, if I had my Texan tailgate buddies over, I'd probably use that as like a medium sauce. So I'll get some out, you know, from out there. I, I would use it. This is so hot that like he's talking about his uh, imaginary friend. Oh, uh, whatever, dude. So, okay. <laughs> cool, man. Uh, that's trappies. Well, you're not. That's a little bit of kick, uh, you know, mild, mild sauce. Yeah. Some of us may or may not have it on our table. So there you go. Trappies. Dude, we're upstairs at the stadium, man. What's all the hot stuff that's coming out this week? Or that is out? That, or that's been out? Is it the Tucker jersey? Is it the Ali signature? Is it these fantasy sports breaks, Brandon? What should people come in and get their mitts on this week? Well, we do have National Treasures in currently. One of the great picks every year. It is on the high end. It is expensive. It's $5,000. But the cards you can get out of here are fantastic. It is definitely the one to buy if you're looking for high-end cards. Say, you don't want to sell your car and buy one of these. How about something else? We are going to be having Panini basketball coming out next month. And a couple others, like Absolute Baseball is also coming out. Sterling Baseball, mid-tier. Beautiful cards, though. Are they absolutely beautiful? They're absolutely stunning. Right on. <laughs> And are they absolutely not five thousand dollars? They're absolutely not. <laughs> All right, cool, man. So if you got the big bucks or you got the little bucks, it doesn't matter. Right here, Adventure Stadium, you get all your sports card nerdiness. All right, one last thing: we have uh, we have a new break page for the Adventure Stadium. Find us on Facebook, the Adventure Stadium Breaks. Make sure to like, follow. Um, on there, we have our new breaks that are being posted. Right now, we currently have a pick your team. So if you're looking for Mac Jones and the Patriots, or you're looking for Zach Wilson and the Jets, or if you just want to go with the Lonely Little Saints, they're on there for a certain price. Just click on the break, tap the team you want, you'll see the price, add to the bag, check out, and it's all done. Now, we are going to go ahead and post uh, the time when it's going to break. So make sure you guys are liking and following so you guys get all the update information. See you guys then. All right, before we go, man, this is this week's pet of the week. It is Winnie the Blue Pitbull. Look how young and smiley this Pitbull is. So full of life and happiness. Now, if you have a pet that you'd like to see on the show, man, send it right here. A personal email. You throw up on the show. Unless it's spiders and snakes. I ain't dealing with spiders and snakes. Sorry for you. Don't like them. You want your comics, games, and sports cards, but you're too afraid to leave the house because there's a young man who won't leave you alone. He's got circle glasses, big Tom Selleck mustache, pink striped shirt with a red fox of some kind hey man, on top of it. how much is this? Hey, man, dude, seriously, we're recording. What are you doing? Oh, I found right it. Right here. Yeah, on the oh. side. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Okay? God. Yeah, because of that guy, we well, check it out, man. We've got an online store, shop.theadventurebegins.tx.com for all your nerdy needs. Free shipping to all 50 states with orders over $100. Check out the latest episode of Zoinks, because uh, too lazy. I haven't done one past couple of weeks. Should check out the other one. New episodes drop every week on certain social media platforms like Facebook and YouTube, as well as on Roku for me and for you through the Woodlands Online Dot com. Hope you guys had a good time today. I know I did. Stalkers or not. Uh, join us next week for more comics, games, events, more and more. But before we go, man, you guys know, this is National Clean Up Your Room Day. Do you guys know that? National Clean Up Your Room Day. No. You didn't? That face is telling me no. You're for right on. Right now. Anyone here about the, uh, the one about the messy bed? What no? about it? What about the messy bed, Chaz? 
Yeah, I made it up. <laughs> See you, nerds. You know what? You know what? No, what? Be rude. Hey, Google reviews. Okay, buddy. I do apologize about that. Some people just be assholes. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, say so much. There's so much I want to say, but I can't. It's a family friendly show. It's a lot of really cool set that you can. <laughs> we got the board. <laughs> bup, 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 bup. That's going to stick my head now. Those are the books you think. <clears throat> Damn it. <laughs> Bang it, Chaz! Come buy your shit! <laughs> Today! <laughs>